right, this is for our Scholastic News Read and Think about This Plant Stinks. So we're going to go through and read each section um, and answer the questions. Again, you're welcome to do this on your own, or you can do it on the Scholastic News website, and they can read it to you. But it says, read stinky plant, then stop. So I'm going to look for the little heading here that says stinky plant. Here we go. Here's stinky plant. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and read this and then we're gonna find out these two questions. Well, sometimes what I like to do is look at the questions before I read. What do insects do when they smell the raphelsia plant? And how does what the insects do help the plant? So we're gonna look about what insects do when they smell this raphelsia plant and what they do, okay? <clears throat> oh, look, I guess it's pronounced Rafflesia. The Rafflesia plant is big, red, bumpy, and stinky. It smells like rotten meat. That smell might sound gross to you, but not everyone feels that way. Some insects eat rotten meat. When they get a whiff of the Rafflesia, they think they're tasting a smell, they think they're smelling a tasty meal. They crawl around on the flower to take a closer look and they get covered in dusty pollen. The insects fly away and carry the pollen to other Rafflesia plants. The pollen helps those plants make new seeds. One day those seeds will sprout and more stinky Rafflesia plants will grow somewhere new. So let's take a look at this. What do insects do when they smell the Rafflesia plant? Um, they think they are smelling a tasty meal. So let me put this down. They think they are smelling a tasty meal. Tasty meal okay how does what the insects do help the plant well we know that they get covered in pollen and they pollinate other plants and that helps to make new seeds so it says how does what the insects do help the plant they carry the pollen to other Rafflesia plants. Okay, and again, you can stop the video as needed uh, if you need to record that. Okay, so number three, read slimy plant, then stop. I wanna see what it's asking this first. What part of the Sierra mix is slimy? So I'm looking for what part is slimy. So we're gonna read slimy plant. So it starts in here. Smell isn't the only gross way for plants to get what they need. Take a look at this Sierra mixed corn plant. It looks like it has gooey red fingers. It's right up here. Gooey red fingers right here growing out of it. Those slime covered things are roots. The roots of most plants grow under the soil. They soak up nutrients from the soil. Nutrients are what living things need to stay strong and healthy. But the Sierra mix grows its roots in the air instead of on the ground. Its roots are covered in a thick slime called mucus. The mucus looks disgusting, but it has an important job. The mucus pulls nutrients right out of the air. The corn plant grows strong, healthy, and gross. So what part of the Sierra mix is slimy? So we know that the roots of the Sierra mix are slimy. So we could say the roots, because I love it when you guys answer in complete sentences. The roots of the Sierra mix are slimy. Okay, number four. How does having slime help the plant? Well, it lets us know that the slime is mucus, and the mucus pulls nutrients out of the air. 
So I'm going to say the slime, <clears throat> which means the same thing as the mucus. The slime pulls nutrients out of the air. Okay? Finally, read toilet plant, <laughs> then stop. How do pitcher plants get nutrients? Okay? Here's toilet plant down over here. This last plant might be the grossest one of all. It's called a pitcher plant. Pitcher plants grow in places where they can't get enough nutrients from the soil. So some pitcher plants get their nutrients in a totally disgusting way. The pitcher plant is shaped like a big cup. Animals sit on the edge to lick sweet nectar from the plant. While the animals are resting there, they might, or they use the plant as a toilet. They poop right into the cup. The poop is just what the pitcher plant needs. The plant breaks down the poop and gets plenty of nutrients, and the animal gets a nice bathroom break. These plants may not smell sweet, they may not look pretty, but these three gross plants are amazing. The things that they need, uh, the things that make them gross are exactly what they need to survive. So there's a picture of the pitcher plant, and look how funny that is. Um, this is a little tree shrew that's actually using the pitcher plant as a little bathroom. Um, but your family might put fertilizer out in the yard to make the plants grow, and fertilizer is just poop normally from cows. So it's kind of the same thing. Okay, read toilet plant. How do pitcher plants get their nutrients? Uh, they get nutrients. Let's see. They get nutrients. from animals poop. So there you go. Very fun and interesting article. Um, let's go ahead and do our reading checkpoint, okay? So our reading checkpoint on here, okay? This article is mostly about, so let's figure out what we mostly have read about here. How being gross helps three plants. Now oh, this did talk about three different plants and they are kind of gross. How corn plants grow or what kind of nutrients uh, different plants need. So we learned all about gross plants and how the gross things actually help the plants. Okay. Number two, what is one way the three plants in this issue are alike? Let's see, do they all have mucus? Um, the pitcher plant doesn't have mucus. The Sierra mix does have mucus, so they don't all have mucus, so we know that's not true. Uh, they are all gross. That's true, they're all gross, and they all smell bad. So you know what? We don't know. It doesn't say if this one smells bad. It's gross but it doesn't say it smells bad, so they are all gross. Okay, number three, what is mucus? And again, that was from our vocabulary word on the, uh, our glossary on the back. A sweet liquid inside plants, nope, that's nectar. A dust made inside flowers, nope, that's pollen. A thick slimy liquid, yep, that's mucus. Okay, number four, what is gross about the Rafflesia plant? It makes slime. Mm, I don't think it makes slime. Uh, it smells very bad. Yeah, that's one that smells like rotting meat. And animals use it as a toilet. Well, no, we know the pitcher plant is used as a toilet. This here mix is slime, so we know it smells very bad because it smells like rotting meat. Okay, number five. Which of these is a problem for the pitcher plant? So here's our pitcher plant. So we need to think about what the problem is. It grows too tall for its habitat. Um... It doesn't say that it grows too tall for its habitat. Animals stay away from it. Well, that's not true either because animals like it. Uh, let's see, its habitat does not have many nutrients in the soil. Yep, that's it. So it has to get its nutrients from fertilizer, which is inside the animal's poop. All right, great job, everybody.